Welcome to uh, Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks <laughs> number 47. Why can't I, I get the intro I, right? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> That's all right. I am Annalise. I am not. I am, <laughs> I am Neil. See? Oh, I just That's got a stuffy funny. nose all of a sudden. I don't know. How are you doing there? <laughs> I'm good. Lady Hawk. <laughs> Hawk. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I like that Hawk. movie. It was with uh, Michelle Pfeiffer and I want to say Sean Connery. Is I, that true? I want to say Mel Gibson. No, I don't oh. think so. Mm. Was that bird on a wire? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't even know. I never saw Lady Hawk. Really? No. I liked it. And it was um with uh Matthew Broderick. Mm. No, it wasn't uh it it wasn't Sean Connery. It was um Michelle Pfeiffer, Matthew Broderick, and uh Rugger Howard. Will Smith. From uh Blade Runner. Yeah. Thank Keanu you. Reeves. No. It was one of my favorite <laughs> Keanu Reeves movies. We did that last time. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> so how are you doing there? Sexy biscuit. I'm good. You know, today is kind of weird. I kept expecting it to like totally storm and rain, and it's not really happening. In fact, it's like a really sunny 70 degrees outside. <laughs> well, it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's really sunny. Well, it was sunny. It, it was overcast, and then it was really sunny, and now it's overcast again. I will say it's very good that we have the new all wheel drive vehicle that we have. Yes. <laughs> because yesterday it rained. It was treacherous. It, yesterday it rained quite a bit. And then today the roads were kind of wet, but yeah. not really. And I just know I felt a lot safer driving in those kind of conditions. I felt safer driving home in the all-wheel vehicle yesterday. Yeah, with sure. the rain. With the rain. Because It know. was actually quite windy and rainy yesterday. It was a little uh, blustery. And uh, oh, I don't think I mentioned this, but when I was going through um, one of the towns I go through, I go through um, you know, a couple of towns on my way home, right. and uh, there were two guys pulled over pulling a um, tree out of the road that had fallen from the center boulevard. You know, mm -hmm. like how... Um, the so, island, so right? To speak. Yeah, exactly. So the um, the people, you know, like in the towns or whatever. Are you sure they, they just weren't stealing the truth? <laughs> it it seemed to be an issue. Um, so you know, to uh, were they make the little town the tree? <laughs> um, when they uh, you know, try to make the towns look nicer and stuff, they do the whole like center boulevard with plants and trees and stuff. Except for the fact that obviously you have to plant youngish trees, mm -hmm. youngish trees, and so um. Apparently in this uh, yesterday when it was blustery and rainy, uh, one of the trees had fallen over and there was a brand new Mustang stopped in front of the trees and two guys were out there. And it was raining and windy and two guys were out there pulling the tree up and pushing it like sideways over onto the boulevard to get it out of the road. Nice. So I was like, oh, well, all right. So nothing too uh, tragic, but yeah, some young trees were being sacrificed for sure. Uh, young so. trees, sacrificial trees. Pagan holiday. <laughs> so uh, maybe it brings some clarity to that comic book trees for everybody. <laughs> maybe right, <laughs> right. I don't know. I don't know about that. So yeah, yeah. So it was good because otherwise, I'm not sure we could have handled partially wet roads without. <laughs> I will drive. Yeah, too bad we didn't have like a lifted jeep with big knobby tires. And I know you want that, but <laughs> I know. Uh, yes, we're so, gonna have to make up reasons to use it. <laughs> well, sometimes it rains here. I know. I mean, <laughs> I noticed that sometimes it'll rain and uh, some of the leaves of the trees will fall to the ground mm -hmm. and they'll be on the roadway we're supposed to drive. What is that about? Yeah. So You know how slippery those things can yeah, be? Yeah, for sure. You get like mm. a good 60, 70,000 <laughs> leaves together on the, the road, it could create havoc. Well, and it starts with one. So when I see that right. one, I'm like, Engage the four wheel drive now. Now, <laughs> isn't it always engaged, or is it? Yeah, this one it is. Okay. But I'm just saying. Sometimes, you know, when I had the truck, I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Do you have sometimes, to get out and do something to the oh, wheels, or is it the just worst, a button? Uh, and the it was a switch in the truck. I see. It, the worst is when you're driving. I don't mm -hmm. know why I'm reaching across the table. I don't know why. The worst is <laughs> when you're driving, and then the driver in front of you uses their windshield wiper fluid, oh. and some of it oh. flies. Off of the car I onto that. the I roadway. I do actually hate that. <laughs> you know how slick that can make the roadway? I just, yeah. Makes it treacherous. Sometimes I listen to the people in the other parts of the uh, the country and like, oh, we're driving through snow and it's sleeting <laughs> and oh my God, it's freezing. And I'm like, you have no clue. You have no leaves to worry about. And I doubt the drivers in front of you are using their windshield wiper fluid. <laughs> I was listening to um, um, David and uh, Aaron, I think it was, on the Cool Story Show who were on guest appearing on Geek and Gam. And they were uh, talking about the weather in New York as opposed to, well, actually they're in Connecticut, um, as opposed to the weather in Canada. And they're uh -huh. like, yeah, there is really no comparison. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> like a balmy two degrees, woohoo, it's summer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine. 
Yeah. Well, it's like talking to Nickel too about yeah. the weather. And I, and he's an Edmonton, right? I feel bad, right? yeah, because sometimes yeah. I can't even understand him because of the, <laughs> the language barrier. It's kind of he I just feel, speaks Canadian beer. <laughs> I notice. I notice. I speak very slow and very loud when I talk to him. Do you, know? <laughs> you don't? <laughs> no, I don't. Um, so, I hope he can make it to Rose City. I was just thinking about that. To the, the city. Day. I need it. Rose City. Oh, yeah. Down. I need to get on uh, getting some passes and stuff for that. So. Yeah. Um, we'll talk about that off off pod. Off camera? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I wanted to, to start out by saying, um, first of all, mm-hmm. we don't edit. Right. <laughs> second of all. Uh, I don't know where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> second of all, I'm going to talk a little bit about seven. Yes. I don't know how well I'll do. So if there's that uncomfortable silence and people start to hear me cry and they're like on the in their car or on their it's on their iPhone or smartphone or however that you listen to podcasts, okay. maybe with our app, and it's that uncomfortable thing, I'll just say now you're welcome because you know how many podcasts will give that to you? <laughs> give it, also, give if you all the of a real sudden, us. <laughs> if I'm talking about uh, the pets and all of a sudden I just totally switch gears and start talking about something else, it's just because I'm gonna lose my shit. So okay, okay, wanted to say that. So also wanted to thank everybody for all the support of the podcast. Like all the people who have taken time. um, It's so weird. I was thinking it's almost a year. Next month will be a year. Really? Yeah. Is that a trip? It doesn't feel like a year. So we've done next week will be 48. Well, we did. We we missed one week. Only one week, though. And our our, um, our one year, I think, is March 16th. So we have. So we're coming up on a year already. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, anyway. But I just wanted to take the time to thank everybody who who listens and people that have taken the time to leave feedback on, you know, wherever you listen to the podcast, iTunes or whatever. And everyone who's downloaded the the app, which we do have an app and it's free if you want. And again, like you might be thinking, like, why would we need your app? Because you can just (laughs) listen to it either on Stitcher or iTunes or Player FM. The app is cool. The, That's why. Yeah, the app is just so blatantly, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Narcissistic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, really thank you. It's so cool to have have people that enjoy it and, and spend the time not only to listen, but to say something nice about the yeah, show. I agree. Thank you very much. Which is going to lead me into the next part of thank yous. Yes, Which course. is, as we said last week, and if you didn't hear... On the 27th of January, we had to say goodbye to Seven, which was our gigantic Doberman of 10 years, uh, who was one of my best friends and kind of him and I did everything together. We had, a, as most people do with their dogs, a, a very strong, strong connection and bond. Mm-hmm. And since we're crazy pet people and don't have kids, it's really the only bond like that that we know. Obviously, we have sisters and, you know, grandparents and brothers and mothers right. and fathers, and that's actually not even in the same realm, you know. But for some people like us, we obsess over our pets, you know. And no, it's nothing like having a kid, but I'm just saying for us, it's the closest thing we'll really know right. to anything like that. Um, and so, it, you know, the other the other thing too is like, you know, I've lost grandparents and things like that, but I could always come home and, you know, I didn't live with my grandparents when I lost them or uh, friends or cousins who have passed away. And um, you kind of come home and that's your sanctuary. You you know, you kind of can forget about it for a moment. You know, you think about it when you think about them or whatever. In, In losing seven, it was weird because He's so much a part of the house and such a big dog that I it <laughs> the actual was physical space he takes being up home just blue strange. goats. It was just yeah. so hard. So um, I want to thank everybody. We've gotten emails, direct messages, tweets, texts, cards, pictures, um, <laughs> phone calls. I mean, so many people have reached out to offer condolences and check in. And what's amazing is not only, obviously, our good friends that we've known forever and family, but people that just know us through the podcast Mm -hmm. or Twitter. And it it was, it really felt good. I mean, it was a, it's still a hard time, but it it was absolutely phenomenal to me to have such an outpouring and people just being so kind and so good. And to all of you, and I try to thank everybody individually, I'm sure I missed some throughout between the tears and, you know. <laughs> beers, so to yeah, speak. Yeah, well, I mean, you you were kind of uh, not on the the twitters and stuff for a little bit. So. Yeah, um, but such good people, and thank you so much because it made a huge difference for me. Yeah. 
Also, really want to thank Salty Language, uh, Tony, Brian, and Jeannie. I know Jeannie's more the enthusiast part of Salty Language, <laughs> but I'm including her in Salty Absolutely. Language. Absolutely. Uh, we podcasted with them last week. If you mm-hmm. haven't heard it, go back. It's a lot of fun. It's a little longer of a podcast, but it's um, it's fun, though. It's, it's a good it's, time. We yeah, had a good time. It doesn't stop through the whole yeah. two and a half hours or whatever. <laughs> um, but that was the first podcast we were doing without Seven, and we had planned to do it when we were on their podcast being drunk. And I know... <laughs> There was some question, you know, they were very, very kind in saying, you know, if you guys don't want a podcast, we get it. We'll do it some other time. Um, I really wanted to keep it going because I was having a really, really hard week. In fact, that day, that Saturday, I spent, what, about four hours curled up in a ball under the podcast table (laughs) crying? Pretty much. Um, True. I actually thought that I was going to have to uh, call Tony and uh, have a chat of like, I am so sorry, (laughs) but there's no way this is happening. Yeah. (laughs) It was the first time that I I felt absolutely floored by my emotions where I just couldn't move. I was just curled up. And and as it got closer, and this is why I wanted to do it, because it, you know, like we went to the concert, it forced us to do stuff. Right. Um, And you have to put on and some actually, pants. We're gonna do yeah, this. <laughs> and actually had a great time and it was it really helped me. So I'm yeah. really appreciative to them and it was a good um, time. Yeah. So anyway, so thank thank you to all of that. And um yeah, we, we got some really cool cards and letters and yeah. drawings and so anyway, uh we thank absolutely <laughs> miss Bubba. He was part of the podcast. It's you know he's in the YouTube videos. You can right. hear him in the exactly. podcast. So if you want to go back to see him and hear him, he's uh, in there. Yeah. So if you which listen, is completely awesome for if, us. So. If you listen to Grant's podcast, The Stranger Conversations, uh, with the one with the first episode zero with me, he's actually featured in it because you can hear him barking for a while. In it. <laughs> What was he barking at? Uh, who knows? At that, I'm sure the squirrel. You know, right. he hates that squirrel. Yeah. So. Um, so He's there's that somewhere chasing that. And it's right really now. weird because there's things <laughs> I haven't been able to do since he's got like, since he's gone, I haven't played guitar because for the last 10 oh, years, right. every, almost yeah. every time I'd pray, play or write a song, he'd be there. He yeah. liked coming in and laying down when I played. So every time I grab the guitar, I'm like, Nope, not ready yet. Yep. And it just stays <laughs> right there. So it's a, yeah, it's a very strange thing to not, um, have him here because he's such a huge part of our lives and a huge presence. Just, you know, we have a cute little house, um, emphasizing a little it's not like tiny tiny but it's a little house and a we don't, huge ass dog takes up a lot of space yeah. and so when you turn around and he's always there uh it's weird when he's not yeah there's a lot of weird things <clears throat> that it's taken us and it will never be the same without him but right. it was um it was interesting because we were talking and one of the things as seven was getting more and more sick i was telling you how you know not that it'll be nice to have one dog, but I said, you know, one dog is easier. I don't really want right, two Right, you were dogs. telling me before, yeah. it'll, it'll be, you know, two dogs with so much work. It'll yeah. be good to just have Expense, one dog and we'll just have one know. dog. And I was like, oh, we're just going to have one dog? Yeah, and so <laughs> I'm like, you know, we can do more. It'll be easier, da, 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 da. And then it was about four after hours after someone was gone and I'm like, I need I need another <laughs> yeah, dog. Yeah, you, you told me about a day later. You're yeah. like, okay, so like we're we, going to need two dogs. I said, I'm not, <laughs> I like, I'm wow, not, okay. I'm not ready now, but we'll need. Yeah, we'll have we're going to gonna have. need two. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. okay. So it's. Uh, Which I'm totally cool with. You yeah, know? yeah. If it, you know me, if it was up to me, we'd have like six. So. Right. Well, but then well, I, but then I go to work all day. So. <laughs> yeah. So, right. so I'm like, yeah, here's six dogs. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs> right. So anyway, so we'll probably talk a little bit about them. As the podcast go on, when things yeah. jump in our head, I oh, I did want to say, and then we'll get off the dogs for a second. Okay. But um, <laughs> took zero to the dog park for the first time, right? And that was the picture you posted on your Twitter right. and Instagram. And right. so we got there, and, and um, since I was introducing him, we didn't go crazy. We just right. kind of and walked. it was his first time ever to a dog park. Yeah, even though um, he's two years old, because we hadn't done that stuff because seven, seven was could, older, yeah. and we didn't want to separate them to yeah. do stuff. Like and it that, was so. difficult. Um, because at the times we could go, it'd pretty much just be me, and it, right. I didn't feel comfortable. Yeah, both of them is... having to care for seven and <laughs> right. zero being crazy. Even though zero is awesome, you know, he's got no problems. But so we got there, and a uh, a red Doberman, an older woman with her Doberman, got out of the car, and I saw the Doberman, and it totally locked me up for a second. But I was so happy to see a Doberman; it just made me right. feel good. They're not very common around here, no, at all. And zero saw her, mm-hmm. and for like did like a double take. Was like I I know that look. 
but that's not obviously seven. Right. And then the Doberman came by and smelled zero, and I talked to the owner, and we were talking about Dobermans and this and that. And it was right after that that he sat his butt down in the sun and closed his eyes and gave that huge smile. So mm-hmm. I don't know if part of him felt like – I mean, I know I'm personified. He was probably just like, I got gas. I'm going to sit here and fart. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I have gas. But uh, it was just neat. Maybe I'm having this moment or I have gas. I'm right. not sure. <laughs> so uh, there we go. That's, that's really cool. So that's – there we go. Yeah. Got that. I'm happy that, got uh, that going you uh, took him to the dog park there. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he's actually doing uh, pretty good. Uh, the first day was a little strange. He definitely showed some signs of weirdness, but um, now he seems totally cool, and he is uh, coming out of his shell a little bit, and we're taking him places. Yeah, and we're doing, doing so much and, more just because of um, the, we can. the limit that, yeah. Yeah, for Seven. If, if Seven was younger, it wouldn't have been a big deal, right. but his mobility issues. But right. Yeah, so <laughs> anyway, so how, yeah. was, uh, how was your week aside from... Uh, um, it was Doggy a issues. it was a good week. It was a little bit of a strange week. Um, Jason, a coworker guy, wasn't at work all week. He had jury duty or something, and so he literally was gone the entire week. <laughs> and uh, I haven't actually talked to him about what sort of trial or anything that he was on, but uh, he was gone all week, and I think he'll be back next week. But I'm not totally sure. Cool. Oh, also we have our uh, terrible towel on our podcast Absolutely, table. Yeah. If you watch the video, the terrible towel is on the podcast table from uh, Pittsburgh Nerd podcast a little goodies that they sent us what you i don't me? know what this means but take a look at that uh, uh Brent Patton, who also sent us a lovely picture that his uh, daughter drew i don't know what that means but he I, just sent us a tweet that's as hilarious as something translated from german so what does it, that mean so it, they want to translate they think what you wrote was in german daft pod yeah. <laughs> that's not good that's funny stephanie translate that yeah so <laughs> that's too hilarious oh my gosh um, when uh, tell us more about your week, and then I got some uh, voicemails to read. Oh, oh, and did decide we. I know the whole voicemail episode has been a total joke, but um, <laughs> someday um, for I'm sure, <laughs> actually going to do it, and I'm just going to do it as a bonus episode. Yeah, so we're just going to record awesome. a couple things and yeah, then yeah. just throw it out there. Okay, because I'm just not getting it done. Um, not to say that we haven't been busy with. Crap. Well, I have um a couple of things from this week. Um, I was uh, I have this newfound love. For Bloody Marys and not like crazy Bloody Marys and not really homemade Bloody Marys. I'm just kind of getting into it because tomato juice is a weird thing for me, but that's a whole Tomatoes other story. Are, are weird for you. Yeah, I think you that's, a in, that's a, yeah, that's in a different podcast episode. But um, I don't like tomatoes at all. Can we make a crazy salad? What? <laughs> I don't. But um, that's just it. I'm re uh, learning my love for the tomato because I didn't. I couldn't eat them for a really long time. Nice. But um. I was talking to Evan, a uh, helper guy at uh, work, and he makes... Drill stealer. <laughs> Drill stealer. Drill thief Evan. From that episode, yeah. Um, DTE. <laughs> uh, Jason had actually told me that uh, he makes a crazy good Bloody Mary, and I was like, okay, Evan, um, let's hear about this crazy <laughs> wow, Bloody like Mary. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Evan. If that's your real name. Yeah. I heard you're good at Bloody Mary <laughs> making. I'm not buying it. And he said, yeah, actually, you know, I'm known for a good Bloody Mary. And I was like, all right, well, what do you do? Make it from scratch? He's like, oh, yeah, you got to make it from scratch. And then he said he makes um like a, a mix, like a syrup mix, and leaves it in the fridge for like up to a year. And I'm oh, like, sounds like real eggnog. Yeah, I'm like with the tomato juice. He's like, oh no, 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 with the, with the whole like Worcestershire and and, and and Worcestershire, and he uses a little bit of a one and some spices, and he makes that into like a, almost um, a liquidy paste, and mm-hmm. he keeps it in like a bottle, and then he uses that as his base. How and low uses, can you go? I don't know. That's what exactly. a brother does. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to do that lyrics episode, <laughs> but um. Anyway, so he said that uh, he was going to send me uh, the recipe for that. And he's like, oh, yeah, you just leave that in a jar and in the fridge, and you just pull that out and add some tomato juice, some other stuff, and you're good to go. That's what you should do. Does, and uh, I'm like, wow, okay. Evan, listen to the podcast? Uh, sometimes. Let me say this, Evan. Hmm. I'm not waiting a year to have a Bloody Mary. <laughs> he's saying that it's good for a year. You can just keep that oh, paste in there. Oh, okay. So when you're ready for a Bloody Mary, you just have the tomato I juice apologize, Evan. and add I thought you were that. just a very slow drink. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> so he makes like almost like a simple syrup mix or whatever that's ready to go on hand. Like it's the base. He makes the base. Simple and then syrup. you just add the Worcestershire. Or I'm not sorry. I'm sorry. The tomato juice. Why did you stuff. pull simple syrup? Um, I just mean that because, uh, you know, like how sometimes you have like the, the base ingredient for stuff like in the fridge. You simple just pull syrup it out. is just sugar and water. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I don't know why I pulled that. Yeah, okay. But I'm like, like I don't know. sourdough I mix nothing. or something, you leave that in the... <laughs> yeah. Sourdough. That's a real thing. I you live in San is. Francisco for crap's sake. I know, I know, I know. How Can about friendship it? bread? 
You ever do the friendship bread thing? Yeah. God, that's yeah, annoying. That's when people annoying. give it to you, I you're like, really? That. Please I'm don't. not friends with you anymore. <laughs> you know this is going to break up our friendship, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> I can't get Although it it's this. good. If you get yeah. good friendship bread, it's good. Yeah. I think if you're a really f- real good friend, you would make the bread and just bring me the bread. Yeah, if you could just drop off the bread, that'd yeah. be sweet. <laughs> And uh, speaking of San Francisco, they started dismantling candlesticks. That makes me really sad. Makes me really sad. It's really kind of horrible and sad. I think it makes us sad. You should see how Roger's doing. Oh, really? Yeah. Although, Hi, Roger, are you okay? <laughs> uh, Roger's a grandfather today. Really? Yeah, the ki- they have to induce labor. Is oh, it yeah, the daughter I, or the daughter-in-law? Yeah, daughter-in-law. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, congratulations, Raj. Wow. And they're Grandpa. the ones that got married out at his uh, property yes. or whatever? Okay. Yeah. They're the, uh, she, oh, is it she works... Law? She works at uh, was she for Disney. Was pregnant when they got married? Oh, they've been married for a couple of years. Really? No yeah. way. That's, yeah. No way. Okay. They haven't. Been. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Time flies. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Well, so congratulations. And I'm sorry about Candlestick. Yeah. That's a bummer. That's all right. He'll get over it. So, I have one really weird story about this week. All right. Let's and hear it. I don't know exactly how I'm going to tell it, but I'm just going to do my best. Okay. And I would like to preface this by saying I've already learned my lesson. I already know, so you don't have. And to, I haven't. I. I you don't you have to tell me. Happened, I, I already know. I I've don't already beat have, myself up about it. I don't. Maybe I was. No, no, say no. Oh. I beat myself up about it. Yeah. Already. I told you to let go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what like, the story okay, is. I have an idea fine. what the story is about, but I don't actually know the details. Right. So I told you what, um, like just the basics, but I didn't actually tell you the details. Well, get the into story. it. Give me the deets. All right. So on Thursday morning. Driving to work, it was approximately like, I don't know, 6.40 in the morning, maybe. It was still dark outside. I um, have to drive that curvy, windy road. Thank um, God for all-wheel drive vehicles. Exactly. And it's, honestly, that's one of the uh, really good uses for that car is that road because um, that car, I'm sorry, that road gets rained out a few times a year. And I've actually, like last year, we've joked about the fact that I missed a couple of days of work because I couldn't get actually physically this to my job. This story going to take for it. Ever, isn't it? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. <laughs> it was 6 40 a.m. Let me tell you about the road I drive to work on. All okay. Right. Well, I feel like that's kind of important because it's this windy, dark road and there's not a lot of stuff around and there's no street lights or anything like that. You ever work in a comic book store? <sighs> Are you, don't, no, Do you don't, want me just not to tell the story? I, no. What I really <laughs> want is for you to tell the story. Mm. That's what I'd really like. Mm. All right. So I'm driving to work, and I'm um, we leave like the town part of the road, and um, um, so I'm driving down the road, and there's someone behind me, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, there's a guy in the road, in the middle of the road, and he's like trying to flag me down, and I have to slam on the brakes, and I kind of go sideways to not hit him, and obviously, I'm completely freaked out at this point because I'm like, holy crap, because, you know. Like I, ha- I was about to turn on the brights because it's so dark and windy road or whatever. But I mean, like, I'm and he kind of moved a little bit, so I must have gotten really close to hitting him. But um, he was waving his arms, and he um, at that point I like was like whoa, and um, I could hear him, and he was like saying stuff, and he was uh, waving his arms, and he said, um, please, I just need a jump. No one will stop. Please, 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 and um. And I stood there for a second, and I uh, looked at him. You were out of the car? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I was oh, okay. in the in the car. But, I mean, like, I was so freaked out. That I was like, because I literally screeched to a halt. Like, I locked it up and slid, you know? <laughs> All right. What? You can't lock up your car, but Well, I mean, I, it's, it's, that's what it feels like, you know, right. when you're like, ah, and you slam on the right. brakes, and the car starts to, like, do this, like, weird, like, shuffle slide thing, and you're like, ah. Right. Um, and so I'm just looking at him, and I, and, you know, like, I, you have this moment where you're like, what the hell, dude? You know, and I'm I'm thinking about like just like, you know, like kind of moving to the right and like trying to get around him or whatever. And he kind of kept moving around like he wasn't going to let me pass him. And um, <clears throat> and then, you know, I have like this girl moment where I think that, you know, this is a really bad idea, like to stop and help this guy. This Why is, is that a girl moment? Uh, because I feel like as a woman alone, like in the dark, helping this guy like that's not just not a good idea you know like <laughs> everything's like ingrained into you like oh no 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 that's a really bad idea right but then the other part of me takes over and it's like this guy is i can see his car his car is right there on mm-hmm. the side of the road and it's in um like this driveway area um that i actually know pretty well 
It's actually right. It's uh, the beginning of uh, that ranch that never got made and right across from Metallica guy's ranch. Right. And so there's actually an open space. And so you can totally see his car and he's right there. And and of course, all of this happens in like like 30 seconds or something. And I'm like, okay, I'm just, you know, I've never actually done this before. I've never actually pulled over and helped somebody before. And I was like, oh, all right. And I like, I held my hands up and I said, and I like, like nodded my head, like, okay. And I like pointed, like I would pull over and, and like he nodded and he like did like a little pray thing, like, thank you. Thank you. And um, he ran over to his car. And so I pulled over by his car and I uh, pushed the window thing down and, uh, and I said, so you just need a jump. And he said, yeah. And I was like, I'm not even sure if I have uh, cables. He's like, I'm pretty sure your car looks brand new. It probably came with cables, but that doesn't matter. Cause I have some, if that's cool. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, and so I kind of pull up close to his car and he's like, um, I think our batteries are on opposite sides. Would you mind pulling around? And I was like, yeah, 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 that's fine. I'll pull around. And so I kind of like move my car and I actually do it kind of like a, a T almost because just the way the street is, it doesn't matter. Um, and so, um, you know, I leave my car on. I can't remember totally. Like I know that I've been like trained on how to uh, jump a car, but I totally can't remember at this point because I'm kind of like oh, my heart's still kind of racing from almost killing this guy in the middle of the road. And, 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 you know, during this time, cars are driving by and stuff. People are going to work and stuff. And um, so I get out of my car and I said, you know, do you know how to jump a car? Because I totally can't remember. And he's like, oh, yeah, I do. So just go ahead and leave your car on. My car is off. It's totally dead. Um, and he's, thank you so much for stopping. I really, really appreciate it. And then he kind of starts blabbering. And I realized very quickly within like a minute or two that he is totally crazy. <laughs> and so immediately I'm like, oh, crap. Why didn't you just get in the car and drive away? I almost did. And I keep, and and that's kind of the, I, I don't know why, but like that's kind of like the part that I beat myself up about. Like I should have just got in my car and left, even though like he was right there. Like he, right. he was within a few feet of me at all times, you know? And so, um, and he was just like, oh, I don't know. Oh, this is so bad. You know, like things have been just going so bad for me. And, um, and, and here, let me help you pop the trunk. And I was like, no, it's okay. I got it. And he, and you know, he was like, oh, okay. And then he just, just kind of kept rambling about like his life and how badly it was going. And he was a young guy. He was probably like 25. And he, um, so let me paint this little picture for you. He has like, um, and I didn't realize this at the time, obviously, but he was actually dressed really nicely, except for the fact that I think he fashioned some sort of vest out of a sleeping bag. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, and in my head, I didn't ask him, of course, but I was like, are you wearing like a sleeping bag right now? <laughs> I'm like, oh, crap, this is really bad. And so, I mean, like some sort of self-preservation instinct kicked in. Obviously, I stayed within, you know, a couple feet away from him at all times. And I kept facing him at all times. And, you know, I don't know why, but like that just seemed like the smart thing to do. And he just kind of kept blabbering. And I'm like, yeah, OK, so I really need to get to work. So if we could, you know, get on this whole jump thing. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so we do the low, and then I do my low, and then we do, you know, and I was like. Low? The low, like, to the ground or whatever. And I was like, oh, I think that, you know, we do one, and then we do to ground, right? And he's like, oh, right. And I'm like, oh, crap, this is really bad, you know. You fry your whole car if he does right. it wrong. Right, And I was like, I was like, okay, so he's like, he's like, I know what I'm doing, I promise. And I'm like, this, I'm like, I have a new car, so this is really bad. I know, I just, you know, there's, could be, the sheriff passes by here, like, all the time. Like, we can just wait a few minutes. He's like, no, no, no. And I'm like okay <laughs> you know and so anyway so it's it's just it's just a little bit weird it's a little you know obviously i'm thinking that this guy's crazy and i am trying to figure out how to exit the situation at this point and so he's standing there and we get the uh cables hooked up and we get them hooked up properly and um and i was like okay well you know go to your car and i'll stay here and watch the cables make sure i don't know and uh, and his uh, lights kind of flicker on and off, and uh, he tries to turn the car over. It doesn't happen. And then he's like, oh, okay, and he gets back out, and um, and he's standing there, and he's and I said, well, I'm not really sure. Maybe you're, I don't know if it's your alternator, if your car is dead, but, I, you know, I'll give you a couple more minutes, but then I really got to go. And he's like, okay, thanks. You know, I really appreciate it. And um, <clears throat> And he's standing there, and then all of a sudden something falls on the ground. And it's – and there's <laughs> – so I look at, I looked, we both look down at it. And then I look at him and I say, you dropped your cheese knife. Cheese knife. So it's a knife, but it's obviously a cheese knife. 
And so there's like this really awkward pause where we're both looking down at the cheese knife that has dropped like a cheese on. spreader knife. So it looks like a mini hatchet, but oh, since oh, we have right. cheese knives, I know what a cheese gotcha. knife looks like. And so gotcha. it's a cheese knife. And he looks at it and he looks at me. And I can tell at this point, like I'm looking at him directly in the eye, and I can see at this point that he's like, she's gonna freak out. Right. And I, I completely stay calm. I completely don't freak out. Like at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm dealing with crazy guy. And then I say, you know. Hey, you dropped your cheese knife. <laughs> you know, right. like as funny as that sounds like right. it would be, it's obviously not funny at that moment. <laughs> and then he's like, Oh. And I was like, Do you want to get it? And he's like, And he looked at me, he's like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to freak you out. If you want to hold the cheese, the, the knife, it's okay. Like, it, there's just, you know, I, I wasn't really sure who was going to stop or whatever. And then um, he's like, Do you want to, do, do you want to hold it? And I'm like, No, I'm fine. Why don't you go ahead and get it? And you should probably just put it back in your car because that seems really kind of dangerous. And then he goes, oh, okay. Um, okay. So I don't know why, but it seemed to kind of like throw him off his game or something like where I was like totally calm and like, yeah, I'm not freaked out by the cheese knife. So you might want to just pull your shit together. And uh, and so we stand there for a couple of minutes and I'm like, you know, dude, I'm really sorry. This doesn't really seem to be working. I kind of really have to go. And... um. And he's like, yeah, okay, you know, really, I'm so sorry. I really appreciate it. I thought that would work. It just seemed like it was dead. And then, thank God, the sheriff drives by. And he kind of looks at me, and I wave my hand, and I kind of, like, try to give him the eyes. Like, yeah. hey, hey, hello. Right. And um, and he keeps going. And I'm like, oh, crap, sheriff's not going to stop. Are you fucking serious right now? Right. And then he's gone for, like, I don't know, two minutes. And then all of a sudden he comes back. Right. And... um. And then we have this another awkward moment where he's on the other side of the road because another car Who's passed here? the sheriff. Okay. The sheriff's on the other side of the road um, because there was another car passing. So he's waiting and he did like a U-turn then parked behind us. But during that time, the sheriff had pulled forward and um, this guy who uh, told me his name, but I don't know if I should say it or not. And I, well, I actually want to look up to see what happened to him. But um, he uh, looks at me and he is kind of like totally deer in headlights. Now, are your are your Jumper cables still hooked the up to your car? Jumper cables are still hooked up, so I can't, like, do anything at this point. I'm just standing there, and the sheriff's parking. And I look at him, and I said, uh, so the sheriff's here, and he just looks like deer in headlights. And then, um, and at some point when he was, like, putting the cheese knife back in the car, he'd got something else out of the car. It looked like cheese, a blanket or a pair of pants or something. I can't quite tell. Maybe there were snow pants or something. And they're, like, on the ground. And there's other stuff on the ground. Mm -hmm. So he's been, like, rooting through his car. And you can see, like, in his car, and it's totally, like, packed with stuff. Like, he's been living in his car or something. Mm -hmm. And obviously, that's not stuff I noticed before I parked and tried to help him. Right. So, um, so again, he totally looks like Darren Headlights. And then I say, so the cops are stopping. You know, the sheriff's here. And he's, like, and he just kind of looks at me. And then I don't know why, but very calmly I say, you know, you have a lot of stuff around here. It doesn't really look any good. Do you want to pick it up, maybe? And then, he, and then that kind of like brings him back around and he's like, oh, yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. And he goes down and like starts picking up like all of his crap and like putting it in his car. And so at that point, I kind of move forward a little bit because he's moved away from me and the sheriff's getting out of his car and I unhook the uh, jumper cables and the sheriff comes over and he goes over the guy whose car broke down, goes over to the sheriff and just starts blabbering craziness right like oh my god I'm assuming the guy not the sheriff. yeah right right okay. the, the guy's like hey how's it going um were you by chance in the middle of the road flagging people down because i got a, a couple of reports he's like no officer no that wasn't me i mean i was flagging people down because i need some help and nobody would stop but it was not in the middle of the road and at this point the sheriff kind of glances at me and gives me a look and we like make eye contact and i kind of nod like yes he totally was <laughs> <laughs> and then he kind of like nods at me like yeah okay and um and so the sheriff's talking to him and the guy is just like saying stuff like, did they say they I hit them because they hit me and it was their fault. And he's like, sir, I don't know what you're talking about right now. I just stopped because your car's broken down and I got some reports of someone flagging down people in a car. Right. And he's like, oh, OK. And he like stops talking. And he's like, I'm going to need to stand over here. I'm going to need some ID and stuff like that. And so during that time, I'm literally like unhooking the jumper cables, closing the hood of my car and I'm standing there and then my boss drives by and my boss like slows down and like we make eye contact and he, I can see the like a look on his face like, 
what the? Yeah. And I like wave and I'm like, hi. <laughs> and, and he goes, like, oh my God. And he like totally pulls over because he thinks I've been in a car accident. Right. And so I say, I, you know, um, officer, I'm really sorry. That's my boss stopping. I'm just going to run over there and like, you know, tell him I'm okay. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, holds up his hand as he's still talking to the crazy guy. And so I run over there and my boss comes out and he's like, oh my God, are you okay? What's going on? Do you need some help? And I was like, no, 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 I'm actually okay. Just stop to help this guy. And it turns out he's kind of crazy. <laughs> and the sheriff's here, so everything's okay. And he looks at me like, what? I'm like, yeah, so the sheriff's here and everything's fine, but do you mind just waiting like one second while I talk to the sheriff and then we can go, I'm assuming. And he's like, oh yeah, totally, of course. Let me go over there with you. And so... uh you know, he comes over there, and we don't actually approach them because oh, Jim at, goes with you. Yeah, Jim goes with you, right? And so uh, we kind of approach, and then I realize at that point that he has crazy guy up against the car, and he's handcuffing him. Ah. And I'm like, oh, and he's getting arrested. So <laughs> I guess we're okay to go. <laughs> and so the, um, the sheriff didn't want your information. You know, that's actually what's what I thought was the weirdest part. He didn't, and so yeah. I kind of started walking towards him, and I kind of like put up my arm a little bit, like hello. And um, he and he just kind of looked at me and he said, you should go. And I was cool. like, oh, OK, fair enough. And then I like um, picked up the uh, jumper cables and I, and I just kind of like held them up so you could see them. And I set them down next mm -hmm. to the car and I backed up and I looked at Jim and I said, if you don't mind waiting for me, maybe we could just follow each other to work or whatever. And he was like, absolutely, of course. So I get in my car and me and Jim drive away. Very nice. And that's it. <laughs> Wow. And um, I was totally, totally freaked out, totally freaked out yeah. And uh, when I got to work. And um, and I was uh, talking to a couple of my girlfriends, like Lisa and stuff, who, like, work out in the gym with me. And I was telling her the story. And she said, you know what's the craziest part about this story? And I was like, I don't know what. She's like, I absolutely would have stopped, too. Mm -hmm. She's like, you know, like, it's one of those things where, like, women are taught to, like, you know, after the fact, you think of all these things you could have done. Because right. Jim was instantly, like, you know, you work at a place that has its own fire safety crew. You could have just rolled down your window and said, I work five mi a mile up the road. Right. I will call from there. Don't worry about it. You're safe. And I was like, yeah, I thought of all those things I should have done after the right, fact. Right, right. But at the time, I was like, this guy needs help. I'm right here. Why wouldn't I help him? If sure. it was me, I would hope to God someone would stop to help me. Right. You know? So anyway. But uh, so it was a totally crazy morning. And so the girls that I work out with the gym, like, <laughs> I saw them a couple of times after uh, later in the day. And she's like, have you checked the newspaper, the arrest records? Yeah. I totally need to know what's going on with that yeah. guy. And I was like, you know what? I'm not sure I want to know. <laughs> I don't know you if may, I want to know. You may want to call but, the sheriff's department to let them know that it was you because they may want to talk to you. OK. And yeah. So. I, I was wondering about that. I was actually kind of wondering why he didn't want my information later because yeah. I was like, OK, I'm going to go then because you said to go. Right. But okay. Yeah. So, and yeah, and I didn't actually, because I have, I was driving my new car, so I didn't have the license plates on. Right. So, right. That's why I was saying they may yeah. want. So, well, I'm glad everything is okay. Yeah. It was really weird. It was Don't a really. Don't let anybody else touch our cars. No, yeah. I obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm you saying. Like, stop and help it, in need retrospect, jump, be like, hey, I'll call AAA for you. Right. But yeah. Don't let people touch Totally. Your in stuff. retrospect, I'm like, oh my God, what? And that's why I was beating myself up. Like, not smart, kind of an idiot. Like, what the hell were yeah. you thinking? And so, yeah, all, all of that. I mean, not to make, I mean, I'm more worried about <clears throat> you than the car, but I don't want anyone touching <laughs> our cars. Just, yes, also that. <laughs> yeah, you know, whatever. Let's, let's... I'm fine. And uh, what's really funny is uh, that um, weird calm that comes over you like in a crisis. You're like, okay, I see that you've dropped your cheese knife. You're going <laughs> to yeah. need to pick it up. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> But like it, I could see that uh, my calmness like was really like, oh okay, like you can hold the knife if you want to for like makes you uncomfortable. I'm like, no, I'm fine. Right. And he's like, oh okay. <laughs> I think you should have asked him if he had cheese. You're like, you know, that's a cheese knife. Do you have cheese? Where is the cutting board? <laughs> this is not going to go well for either of us. Do you have the wine or the cheese to go with that? Well, I'm, no, I'm glad know. everything worked out all right. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it, and it sucks too that. I mean, I'd like to think that the right thing to do is to stop and help somebody. Right, exactly. And but that's you just what I mean. don't like, know anymore. I actually felt terrible f because from this point on, even though that was the first time I actually stopped to help somebody instead of like calling once I got to work or something like sure. that, um, this was the first time I've ever stopped to help somebody. And I will never stop again yeah. because of it. Yeah. So, which I think is a terrible thing. Right. But I, yeah. I you know, I'm, well, I won't. Honestly, I won't. <laughs> so, fortunately, things didn't. Didn't go bad and yeah. 
Ring yeah. County's finest came to help you. Gotta hold on to those <clears throat> cheese knives. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I have a story of okay. an equally harrowing tale. <laughs> okay. If you will, which happened just about an hour ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it does not involve cheese knives. No. It does, however, involve Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> Which is almost as dangerous if you yes. think about it. Yes, um, if you eat too many of them, it could be equally as dangerous. So we were hanging out talking before the podcast, and mm-hmm. we were getting ready to podcast. And, and you were getting the dog's food ready. Right, and there was a knock on the door, which sometimes annoys me because we have a no, solici- no soliciting sign. And no solicitation sign, right? Yeah, and... Um, so t- people do that anyway, though. Like, yeah. It cuts out, I would say, 90%, but there's still the 10% that don't really notice it or don't Care. or pretend... The not to notice, right? And we don't have a lot of people that just drop by. Mostly in this day and age, people call first or text first. Right. Honestly, if we're friends, you know you need to call first. That's all you. And uh, if it you is know, a friend you know of you ours that didn't <laughs> that didn't call first, they'd probably be screaming from the door like, "Hey, it's Ed, open yeah. up!" You yeah. know, "Hey, man." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so I was like, oh, and so Zero's barking like crazy because right, like, he's trained to bark when the door you know when there's people who right want to get as in the they house. should absolutely and so i'm like all right fine so usually i'll go out through the garage and open the garage door and talk to them but this time i'm like forget it i figure i'm gonna i'm gonna right. hold this little pit bull by the collar open the door and ask them and scare the crap out of yeah. whoever's at Did the door you, which he's not he doesn't have <laughs> no, that kind of look he doesn't to him. at all he's super but sweet still super you know cute, but you know so i'm like i'm gonna just tell these people did you not read the sign not right. to be a jerk but just really come on now i mean i'm right. trying to feed the dog I'm getting ready to podcast i got things to do <laughs> I don't need to tell you my sins right now. No, I don't need sure. to buy. I've got direct TV. We're good. Thank yeah, you. Absolutely. <laughs> I like my internet service provider. I don't need a Kirby vacuum. I don't know. Right. So I open the door and I'm like, you know, it's Mother on. Motherfucker. Yeah. It is on. You're going down. And it's this nice woman and her little kid. <laughs> the little kid's got to be this like. This woman and her little daughter. <laughs> ten. It's got to be if like. That, if yeah. that. Like nine. She's, what are eight, they before maybe? their Girl Scouts or brownies brownies yeah, yeah i think she was a brownie mm. and um and the and the mom she looks very friendly uh and the, the little kid's cute and she's like the mom looks at the little kid now i'm holding a barking pit bull right it's and just like the, they should give her the nudge like go no, ahead give your yeah, spiel the, the, the mom looks at me looks at zero big old smile on her face the <laughs> she's kids, not she's no hesitation she didn't even move <laughs> like, like if it was me, I would have been like, whoa, what's, you know, <laughs> mom says, go ahead and tell him. And she's, the little kid's like, hi, um, Girl Scouts. And the mom looks at me and goes, oh, she's selling Girl Scout cookies. And the kid's like, yeah, Girl Scouts. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> That's I'm funny. like, okay, hold on one second. Um, and they're like, all right. So I shut the door and right. go in and get some money and go back out there. I said, I'm sorry. He about asked the- me what I wanted. Yeah. I have, what, <laughs> what Girl Scout cookies do you like? And then, um, uh, go outside and I say, I'm really sorry for the dog barking and, Across the street is a guy with. I like did a, actually a, look out the window and noticed there was a guy sitting on a cooler, sitting holding, on the cooler one of those, across the street, holding one of those cups, the cups that we drink. Really? Yeah. But I a didn't see that. Version. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so what it is, it's like a, um, it's like a plastic version of the mason jars, um, and he, are you all right? Yeah, I think it dripped off the um, oh. the top. And he. Uh, and he had one of those, and he had a, a cooler, a large cooler that was on wheels, mm-hmm. and inside the and cooler. And the cookies were in the coolers? Yeah, I think that's okay. an easy way that they were carrying them around right, right, and right. could carry With a the, lot. Uh, the coolers that came with, like, a little pull a handle. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. And so um, go outside, and I'm like, sorry about the dog. And they're like, oh, they, they could care less. And yeah. I, I said, I said, what kind of cookies do you have? And and the girl, little girl's like, cookies. And I'm like, no, I, I got that part. And the mom's like, <laughs> Telling me, you know, I'm, so the mom took over. <laughs> yeah, and she's mentioned thin mints. I'm like, okay, and I said, do you have Samoas? And she goes, yeah. I'm like, okay, we'll take. A, I said, how much are they? Five dollars. I said, right. okay, because well, I didn't want twenty five bucks. And I'm like, right. Holy crap. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, we'll Keep take your a cookies, box, lady. Yeah, box of thin mints and a box of Samoas. So the dad then comes across the street, and the da- I can't say for sure, but the dad looked like there may have been an adult beverage in that cup, and he was happy. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry about the dog barking. He's like, we got three dogs. We know what it's like to deal with the Motley crew. Don't even worry about it. I'm like, <laughs> deal with the Motley crew. That's what he said. And I was going to be like, yeah, totally. That's awesome. Yeah. It's like, dude, if we got to go Girl Scout cookies, hold on. Yeah. Let me make a beverage. Yeah. So, uh, and so they were all very happy and very nice. And I felt, That's I'm like, oh, I should have oh just God. looked out the window first and seen that it was a little girl standing there. But no. No. So we got. He was barking like crazy yeah. though. Yeah. So we got a couple boxes of Girl Scout. 
nothing <laughs> but trouble funny. there. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Well, he was the shit out of this yeah. girl. He was like, all right, I'll see you later. I'm like, bye. It's like, woohoo. Oh my the only God. thing that would have made it better is if that freaking uh, the thing he was pulling the the ch- ice chest or cooler on wheels was motorized and he just got <laughs> on it and drove away. It's like, I'll see you, man. Like a little go kart. Mm-hmm. Hey, where are you going, buddy? Okay. Yes, yeah, he's take done. his he took his bone and left. So um sometimes I like to take my bone and leave. <laughs> um sometimes you like to take my bone and leave. What's going on? We'll here? stay right here. You get we'll up and right go. Here. You're like, I'm done. Yeah, gotta go. Yeah. Got things to do. <laughs> yeah, that's always awkward. Like, all right, I guess we'll talk. You know, we'll cuddle with someone else. What? Yeah. No, the cat. Sure. Um, all right. So that's my yeah, there's my Girl Scout cookie <laughs> story, which just happened. <laughs> I think that I've actually covered all of my stories for this week. It was a strange uh, little week. Yeah. Well, I did want to read so. a couple voicemails. Oh, yeah, here. of course. And read then, the voicemails. Uh, and then we'll get to our favorite five. Of course. So I'm not gonna exactly say who they're Do from. Ya. I'm just gonna read what came through. Oh, I, yeah. okay. <laughs> um, and then you know, so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna give the the number out either, but here we go. Hey, Neil, Emily, is this is Big Data from Snickle Comics. I just got done participating in the rental game this week, and I must say, I'm Else Day. It was fun playing along and hopefully on again. Love you guys. Bye. Is that Big Data from Snake Oil? I'm not saying. <laughs> it's Damn. Big Data from Snickle. <laughs> Here's another awesome. one. Awesome. Well, so this is done and day of camp with actually work. And I didn't know you got the voicemail. This is pretty cool. I'm calling to say, hey, hope everything's okay. And I'm actually then you right now. The possible, I'll see you. I was just so if you guys doing all right. And you know, oh, hey, Sam is Jeremy. They say it is. Andy to Carrie, we're preparing for this week. Call if you have good work. But you know here (laughs) we are. And I hope the sound of our voice preview some kind of comfort. And I were thinking about <laughs> thinking of you at the bar and we're at and you're seven day. We'll be talking more often. Love you guys. Bye. No idea, but that's hilarious. Know, <laughs> that makes awesome. no sense at I all. I just like that you no know. No sense at all. My, you know, oh, hey, Sam is Jeremy. They say it is. Andy to carry. <laughs> we're preparing for this call if you have good work. But you know. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Oh, my God. You have to make that episode. You yeah. have to make it. Well, I'm sure that's not what it sounds like. No, of course. But what I, I'm thinking of doing on the episode is, is reading them is and then reading playing them. them. And playing That'd them. be awesome. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Oh, my gosh. So there's You have that. to play that one for me because yes. I have no idea what that says. Yeah. Well, lately, I haven't listened to them because I want, I thought it would be fun if we listened to them first. <laughs> yeah, when totally. When we record it. So, uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> so there's that. Oh, and I uh, made my tattoo appointment. For next Tuesday for my seven for tattoo. Seven, right. Yeah. Just his name, not getting it. And where are you getting it again? On my arm. The on my forearm. Right. Okay. Yeah. There's gonna be a where the other name says? <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be a whole, it's gonna be a whole checklist. Right. Uh all right. Favorite five. We decided to do in keeping with our pet theme. Pet talk. Mm-hmm. Favorite five nicknames for our pets or pets we've had. Right. Pets may be gone. Mm-hmm. There's a I'm gonna tell you right now on my list. Some of the pets are not with us anymore. No, for sure. <laughs> um, so it's just, we just thought it would kind of be fun and a cool way to tie up the, not tie up, but, you know, staying with the dead so up. pet thing. I don't know. I guess. I don't know. That's Keeping the in the theme, I suppose. Of pets. Okay. So. Um, uh, you want to go, go first? first? Oh, oh you Dave, drink, tink, <laughs> blink, one, two, three, four, five, Yahtzee. I forget what it was. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> there was something where you're like, Oh, Jinx. That was it. Right. Um, <laughs> Tank. We need to find a new game of Trivial Pursuit. We need to find... Uh, I know we've talked about it before, and we've talked about going to like Goodwill to see if we can find like a game or something, but we should just buy a new one. Right. Okay. Anyway, just throw it out there. Okay. Um, number five favorite pet nicknames that I use. Or have used. Number five? Yeah. Piglet. Pig lit. That's for zero. That's for zero because he's a little snore <laughs> yeah, monster. He's a snore monster. And <laughs> he's he, kinda, little... he looks a little piggish. Yeah, he's a little. <laughs> My number five was for a min pin I had, and it was floppy eared bat pup because he had his oh, ears weren't done. Oh, I don't think I've ever heard you say yeah, that. Yeah, his ears weren't done, and that was well because I and he looked like because so. he had the tiny little face and the right. little, so he looked like a little bat, and his ears would sometimes he couldn't hold them up like zero, but sometimes they'd get stuck up like in the wind or something. 
And then they'd so they were down. super floppy, but he couldn't oh, hold yeah. them up. They were huge. Huh. Yeah. Do you think that zero can hold his up forever? I think so. He has well, super I mean, he might get tired after straight. a while. Well, you know yeah. what I mean. No, like, I think the hill always when he gets older. I don't know. Hmm. It's good because it gets kind of floppy when you get yeah. older. <laughs> That's right. Hoppity flop, hop on flop. Um, so floppy eared bat. Getting pup. some pills for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, that's all he needs. Oh, no. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Um, and my number four is chips. Hmm. Used to uh, my girl cat who has passed away, um, Zora, who is uh, Roy's sister. Zora the Explorer. Um, I don't know why, but I started calling her. Kitten or was chips. she the? Was she the female version of Zorro? No. Um, she was so the gay I had the S-blade. um a Blade Runner yeah. theme going with Roy the Zora and uh, Deckard. Sorry. So <clears throat> anyway, so I'd call her kitten chips, and she would totally come to chips or kitten chips or whatever. And, Chocolate uh, chips. Anyway. I like calling Ice her chips. chips. I don't know why. Nice. I don't have any. I think I jokingly started calling her chips because she liked chips and popcorn. She loved. She would attack you for popcorn. Ugh. Like you were not safe. Pull you over on the side of the road. She make would you jump her popcorn. <laughs> she would. <laughs> My number four is also for the little minpin whose name was Six. Mm-hmm. Uh, interesting story. Um, named after Nikki Six, mm-hmm. and had the same birthday, not year, but birthday as Nikki Six. <laughs> My number four, uh, Six Pickle. I don't know why, but I'd call him Six Pickle. All the things I could call him. Six Pickle. <laughs> that movie and which turned bit. into Sixy Pick. <laughs> yeah, I had, that poor dog had so many stupid nicknames. <laughs> so, okay, so that's number four. What's your number so, four? But he was your first dog that was just your dog having moved out of your parents' house. That wasn't a family dog. Yeah, correct? yeah, but he wasn't, I wouldn't say he was my dog. Yeah, I know, but I mean, like, he wasn't the family dog. No, he no, was no, the, no. Like the first dog that you yeah. had that wasn't a family right. member. But or I didn't like have your that. Your parents didn't get right. him or I whatever. I didn't have yeah. that bond. The bond right. wasn't with me and him. I loved him to death. Great dog. Right. But that, he didn't bond or imprint on me if you're going. Uh, uh, Twilight? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Although, I think he tried to imprint. He tried to hump floor. you a couple no, times. No, no, no. No, he was not that. He was a little destroyer. Of things, but he was. Right. Was he the one who destroyed the couch? Oh yeah, leather he, couch. He chewed out the center of the couch so he could make a little nest. Oh my Of God. one of the cushions. Oh, oh yeah, oh. It, which Woo. was would because it was my first dog as quote unquote an adult. Mm-hmm. I didn't do enough research, and he just was. Uh, I didn't give him uh, the amount of exercise he needed, mm-hmm. and so he was just at a home terror and, because he yeah. was bored. Yeah. Yeah. And then when I realized that, then right. he was fine afterwards. I'm like, right, oh. that's what the trainers have been telling me because they've been taking zero to training classes and stuff and all that. But um, they said a bored dog is a bad dog. Yeah. A tired dog is a good dog. Yeah. A busy dog is a good dog. Yeah. So boot toys, walks, whatever right. you got to do. Like, otherwise, he's going to get bored. He's going to chew stuff. So anyway. All right. So your number? Um, my number three <laughs> is pants. Pants. <laughs> I put pants on the end of all the pets' names, right. and I put mostly pants on in the morning. Roy pants. Um, we have a cat named Roy. He's about twenty pounds. He's about fifteen years old. 15? Well, you got me to do it. That's why I call you sexy pants. <laughs> exactly. Every the uh, pants on the end of pretty much anything is awesome. <laughs> Although I'd rather that you not have pants on. Yeah. So. Pants off. Pants off. Which is actually another funny story. I should tell sometime about uh, my girlfriend Martha and pants right. off. Yeah, let's but, get um, Martha over here. Uh, <laughs> write that down. So uh, pants. Um, I, so, uh, I actually call Roy either Roy or, um, you call him fatty, Yep. but, um, I used to call my other cat Deckard. I like um, to tell fatty. Roy to go be fat somewhere else when he's buying. I know. <laughs> go be Poor fat guy. somewhere else. Poor guy. Um, but, um, so I just call him Roy Pants. That's his name. Yep. Roy Pants. My number three is for zero and it's Piggle Giggle. <laughs> Piggle Giggle? Piggle Giggle. Piggle Giggle. <laughs> I also like to call him Cutie. Oh, I'm hobying it. But Cutie's not my favorite. I just call him Cutie. But Piggle Giggle. I like calling yeah. him Piggle Giggle. Don't hobby it. <laughs> Piggle, I'm not hobby the crap out of this. Piggle Giggle. So that's your number three? Yeah. Piggle Giggle for zero. Okay. My number two. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm ready. Okay. Do you Bubba. want me to say it? It's Bubba. Your number two is Bubba? Yeah. For seven? Mm-hmm. All right. You want to leave it at that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that too much. <laughs> my number two is a nickname that I had for seven, which was Goofy Paw. Yes, you always call him Goofy Paw because yeah. he had that weird little. Uh... When he when he'd sit down, uh, one of his one one of his paws would get kind of pigeon toed, uh-huh. and it looked like he it was go- it was goofy as hell. Because here's this really 
stunning, beautiful, yeah. huge Doberman. And all of a sudden, I'm like, what are you doing? You go- so, Goofy Paw. But then he would do funny stuff like he would um, get a goofy look on his face. Yeah. And then he was like the goofiest dog yeah, ever. He was, he was a goofy, goofy dog. dog. Yeah. yeah. So. But I mean, like when you told him to like sit or stay like at attention, then he just looked majestic. But yeah. when he was like chewing on his blanket or playing with something, he looked super goofy. Yeah, it was it was weird, too, to see him like when he was concerned about something. Mm-hmm. And like I know a couple of times he stepped in front of you to protect you. because uh-huh. And it's almost like he went from this family dog to just this yoked out. <laughs> right. <freaking. laughs> I'm like, how are you flexing? How do you know how to flex? Remember, how do you know how to look scary? <laughs> um, one of the first times we went out and I'm like, watch. And I was going to throw the ball and his whole chest flexed mm-hmm. when we were out in the backyard. Mm-hmm. You're right. Yeah, it's, he, was, he was impressive. Right. What's really but, funny is he doesn't seem, or sorry, he didn't seem to uh, care that much about um, other animals or other anything. people. Right. Yeah, so he was very in tune with us yeah. and very concerned about us, like you, as we were talking and about zero. before. Um, very protective Right, I was super protective of Zero. That one time that that stupid chihuahua came and bit him in the face, I thought we were going down. <laughs> yeah. I thought we were all going to jail. Be, yeah, that was going to um, be. Especially Bubba. But, <laughs> but um, so he, um, he just looks like he's not even paying attention, you know? Yeah. And so... It's, it's almost, it's almost kind of weird because I'm like, okay, so we're going to go. Why are we going for this walk if you don't care about anything, yeah. you know? But um, there was a couple of times where, like, um, someone would come up and talk to me or um, I can't remember what we were doing, but it's only happened twice. But um, he very, very subtly stepped forward and stepped in front of me. Yeah. And I and he leaned against me, so he was touching me physically. And I don't, again, of course, I, I didn't, there wasn't a threat there right. and i knew that so at that moment i was just like yeah he was oh, just he loves sure. me <laughs> and it's so funny because walking him he'd seem he'd seem like he did wasn't paying attention right but all of a sudden if he had to or right. if something caught his he was, he was on, like, point, on. Like, on point on point the hell yeah. happened i don't even right. know what's going on and so like when that little thing happened with the chihuahua from across the street i thought yeah. he was going to kill a chihuahua because the chihuahua didn't approach him he approached zero, zero. and yeah. i thought i yeah, mean you seven. were like whole you were gripping like, onto that dog holy crap yeah like, for sure do not but uh, anyway, and, and what's funny is as quickly as he do that, he'd just be like, "Oh, we're good, cool, yeah, I'm gonna go. and move on, let's yeah. go, yeah." So, what, did you, what's your number one? No, that's my number two, Bubba. Yeah, what's your number one? You didn't give your number two. Goofy paw. Oh, was it? Yeah, oh, yeah. sorry. That's all right. <laughs> that's too funny. Yeah. Um. So my uh number one is shark mouth, baby shark mouth. Oh yes, that's good. I forgot <laughs> because that because it's one. perfect for yeah, him. But that's for perfect. zero. He's and we like, talked about it in another, but yeah, well, he, I, but especially he, when he was a puppy, he, he would just w- run around with his mouth open he and still try does. to bite things. Yeah, he absolutely like, I don't know what it we is. brick but planters in the backyard and he would just run by with his mouth open and try to bite the bricks and it would knock him out. He chews on rocks and, and yeah. sticks. And um, even now he's, um, it's like a little kid thing to do where he tests everything with his mouth. Like and he and comes he over things with his nose. Yeah. Yeah. So like even today he did it. He like pushed something with his nose and he pushed it a couple of times and he like snorted and did that little pig yeah. thing where he kind of snorts on it and like dog. tries to smell it. And then he opens his mouth and he licks it and kind of tastes it. And then he kind of tries to bite it. Yeah. And I'm like, are you done? What's funny though and he's is like, he'll he'll do looks that. at me like, yeah, that's good. I've smelled it, tasted it, and bit it. He'll We're good. do that, but he won't destroy anything he's no, not supposed no, to. No, no, Doesn't he's chew not a on chewer. anything in the house. No, no. You can leave your shoes unless, out. You unless can you leave wear your stuff bricks. Out. If you wear bricks, you may try <laughs> right. to chew them. If you leave a stick in here, he's yeah. going to chew it up. Yeah. But uh, baby shark mouth. And he That's just has that one. huge kind of pit bull mouth, which you can tell from that Instagram picture yeah. where he, he's just smiling. But, um, yeah, I mean, he's just... Has to put his mouth on everything to, like, lick it or taste it or smell it or whatever. But uh, it's exactly him. Right. So so my number one is Bubba. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Which was obviously for seven. But it, it and it's funny, it wasn't Bubba because he wasn't overweight. He was very much in shape. Mm-hmm. But it was at the when he was, I think it was when he was a a puppy or soon after. It was whenever Bubba the Love Sponge was on satellite radio. And that's the radio, right. Yeah. Uh, shock jock mm-hmm. kind of guy. And I, I just I I didn't know about Bubba the Love Sponge and suddenly found him and started listening and some of it's like a little over the top for me, but it was fun. You know, they had like yeah, I've cool never skits. actually heard of that it's, until you told me about it. Yeah, I mean, you know, the goal was to be Howard Stern, but different, and he achieved it. You know, he did it. I thought he did a decent job, but anyway, um, they used to one of the guys on the show would write like parody songs, mm-hmm. and you know, there was that that song for uh, um, I forget who it is, but I love it when you call me Big Pop B. 
Um, and so they redid one for Bubba the Love Sponge. I was I love it when you call me Big Bu Bu. And uh, <laughs> used to sing that to him all the time. Yeah, and yeah. so I just started s singing it to him while I was I was actually um, what was I doing? I was remodeling a house at the time. Mm -hmm. So that was on. You know, it seemed to be on a lot of the times when I was doing the work after after work work on the house. After I almost think work. that he knew his name as Bubba better than he knew it as Seven. Uh, seven was usually like something was going on because it was always right. Bubba, you know, come here, Bubba. Right. Well, and then as trainers, um, and then we do the whole training thing. Um, you're taught to do the the name and then the command. Mm -hmm. So it was like seven sit, right. seven this, seven that. He was and good. when you would say Bubba, it was always an endearment. Yeah. Like, hey, Bubba, come here. And yeah. so I think he or responded Bubba, get off to my that. Goddamn foot. <laughs> <laughs> so I think he responded to that more because it was like a friendly, loving, <laughs> right, companion kind of thing. It was but so, when you said his name, it was usually followed by a command that he right. probably didn't want to do. <laughs> right, like get off my goddamn foot. But yeah. no, but uh, so but I move. used to I used to sing I used to sing them. <laughs> I love it when you call me Big Bub Bub, and so it became Bubba, and then yeah. it was just Bubba. But it was it was funny because I would I gave him such a hard time. I used to tell him all the time, uh, which is funny because he'd be sitting there with his goofy look, and he'd do something <laughs> like he'd keep begging for. I made the mistake of feeding him a people food right. as a. You know, he grew out of it, but um, when he was a puppy, so he'd always be in the kitchen waiting for a scrap or, mm -hmm. you know, and I'd always tell him, like, I'm going to punch you right in the face. And it was so funny because it's like, what the hell would me hitting him even do to a dog that size? And obviously I would never hit well, our animals. it would hurt him. But it was just but... funny because he'd look at me like, yeah, is it time to play? I'm like, I swear to God, I'm right in the face. Right in the face, Bubba, right, yeah, in, right in the face. face. No, he and he's like, care. what? Hey, Paul, you. <laughs> I love it when you call me big Bubba. <laughs> so what's really funny now is um, since we've had zero for two years and we had seven during those two years, when you would say Bubba, they both would come zero thought because he would just follow Bubba. seven around. Yeah. So now he thinks his nickname is Bubba. Yeah, there was a there, the last like four or five months when I called Bubba zero. They both head. would come. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, oh. but what's weird is I thought I'd end up calling zero Bubba just out of habit. Mm -hmm. And I did it once by accident I've done in it reference to as him. well yeah but i have no it doesn't it doesn't even come right. out naturally you know giggle piggle which is makes sense giggle piggle so he's in here and out chewing what that's is that? that's it he's chewing a kneecap from a a uh cow <laughs> it's a kneecap from or a knee bone i don't know i don't it's some sort of bone but yeah, yeah something so if you hear that in the background that i bet he's thrilled stuff. because when seven right, was here seven would take them both right <laughs> Seven was a taker and hoarder of things. Yeah. He'd have like all the balls, all yeah. the bones. He could put a lot of balls in his mouth. Boy, I missed that dog. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> all right, that's all we got. Thank right, you very much right. for listening. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, do the things with things. Darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com. Check out our free app because it's more of us, which is good. <laughs> uh, you, you can find us on Facebook. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, I was going to say you should play the uh, Heno song. Oh, I will. One of these days, either yeah, at we'll the beginning next... or the end or whatever. Yeah, we'll do it next week. <clears throat> okay. Uh, well, we Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, Twitter. I'm at Angels Freak Seven. I'm Warrior Tech Girl. But you can link to everything from Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, or everything is DAPF Pod, DAP Pod. So if you want to check out our pictures or our Pinterest is is. <laughs> uh, if you want to like our Facebook page, that's cool. Um, however, if you're following us on Twitter, the Facebook page is pretty much the same thing. <laughs> so uh, sometimes, there you go. more or less. Sometimes there's naked pictures, but. Yeah, I add other stuff to the Facebook page. but Very yeah. happy <clears throat> to be part of these networks. Musingsofageek.com, poddam.com, podgodsnetwork.com, and the tangentboundnetwork.com. If you're looking for a podcast or you want to start a podcast, go to tangentboundnetwork.com because uh, Mark will hook you up with your own podcast, web stuff. It's we'll pretty, pretty cool. pretty much do everything up. to help yeah. you out. And uh, um, I believe he's still doing it where you don't have to pay anything. Mm, wow. Give you your feet That's and huge. everything. Yeah. Huge. If he's not and he's charging out, I'm sure it's minimal, That's but probably I don't okay think he too. is. Yeah. You can catch us on iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio. Uh, thanks again for all the comments mm -hmm. that you leave. That's really cool. Uh, we're on Spark Radio Mondays, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and Fridays at 7 30. Um, I think we're on Radio Fubar. However, I've been told every time I tell people to go listen to us at Radio Fubar that it's not us. So <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. we might be on it Tuesdays at day at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard we'll Time. We'll try to figure that out. Yeah. We might not. <laughs> yeah, still a cool station. So radiofubar.com, geekliferadio.com, Wednesdays at 1:30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And of course, Cast Cloud UK, which, which is, cool. is pretty cool. We're actually part of another radio station. Oh, however, we are. Yeah. 
However, I don't know what time we're on yet. Okay. Um, I haven't been given that info, and um, I will we'll take care of all that next week because I got to put it all up on the website. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, but Cast Cloud is fun. Uh, check them out. And thanks again. Thank you so much for all the support with everything we've been going through. And uh, absolutely, thank you guys. And I think that's it. Okay. Oh my awesome. god! I don't Woo-hoo. wait. It might not be it because I can't find my mouse. Okay, hold on. Gotta, Let me check my glass. Gotta click my Drink mouse. Drink up. That was for you, Mama. Click your mouse. <laughs> Bye. Listen.